think that's so It's very upsetting. Like, you don't understand what we've gone through. And we have to, like, big, big, big. And the thing is about that housing, if you don't get it sorted, what happens to all those people that, for the housing for all? Do they have defective houses going forward? Can we trust in the regulatory, the, well, there's thinking called the market watch and it, it's not been doing its job. I'm not here because I've noticed that in that housing there. Keeps playing with our mental health and telling us we're going to get an answer this month. We're getting an answer this month. And then promised three times live on air they would get an answer at the end of September. And still no answer. Christmas is coming, the next one could be our last. That's what we're coming down here to say we need an answer, and the answer has to be 100% real yes, and less. The people of Donegal is fed up being treated like second class citizens, and enough is enough. So we're here today in our thousands to make our feelings known. The death knell of the society in Donegal. The death knell of everybody on the west coast of Ireland and the northwest coast of Ireland whose families' dreams, the very fabric of their existence, is crumbling into the ground. And I'm making the long journey to the capital once again, especially given the circumstances that many of you are living through. Well, we're here supposed to fight for our home to get 100% redress. Um, we're in our home since 2000, so for the last, say, almost 15 years, we've been watching the cracks appear. Getting worse steadily, we fixed it ourselves from our own funds uh, about 10 years ago, but the, indeed it actually has continued to deteriorate. It's chimneys falling down, large parts of bits of mortar falling off, falling off. Children not allowed to play outside because in case something falls off the house and hurts them. There's families living in caravans now. They've had to buy mobile homes and move their children into a mobile home. But when we got our engineer's report and the laboratory report came back, we knew that we were fighting a losing battle, that all the filling in the world wasn't going to keep it standing. It has to be demolished. <laughs>